Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to talk about one simple thing. Which QuickBooks license is right for your business? Hello and welcome to Boffix Tax Tips, the one-stop place for you to learn about everything to do with accounting, tax and a whole lot more. My name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a Chartered Accountant, Certified UK Trainer for Intuit and also that QuickBooks chat. Now, one of the questions our clients ask on a regular basis is which version of QuickBooks is right for their business? So we're going to go through each version of QuickBooks and understand which one is right for which occasion. Every business is different, hence why there's different versions of QuickBooks for you to look at and each one comes at a different price point. So finding the right version is really, really important. Now there are four versions to talk about and here they are just here. But actually, even though there's four versions, there's only actually two products. Now what I mean by that is the two products is QuickBooks Self-Employed and QuickBooks Online. Now QuickBooks Online has been split into three different tiers and depending on which functionality you need, depends on which tier you go on and which version of QuickBooks you're gonna be utilizing. Self-employed, on the other hand, has one version for every type of situation. Now, they are two distinct products, so there's no way of jumping between one to the other. So your biggest consideration is, do I go with QuickBooks Self-Employed or do I go with QuickBooks Online? When you choose between the two, it's really important you get that absolutely spot on. All four versions of QuickBooks give you the following. They both let you attach bank accounts, which basically means you can quickly add a bank account to QuickBooks, it means that information is directly shown into QuickBooks itself. Makes it really easy then to make sure data is getting into QuickBooks. They both let you snap receipts, which is a really quick and easy way for you to be able to quickly add things to QuickBooks. So have a receipt, take a photo of it, and it gets put into QuickBooks. Using technology called OCR, which means it reads that invoice or receipt for you and puts that information into QuickBooks nice and easily. They both let you send invoices directly from QuickBooks, have fancy ways of receiving payment. So you can use a big pay now button to get paid straight away, or use GoCardless as a direct debit solution that's really useful for small businesses. Overall, there's loads of ways in which you can find benefits from using QuickBooks. All of them have the most core functionality. So connecting a bank account, snapping receipts, recording mileage, having an app, sending invoices, all these things can be done in every. But then each version has its own differences as well. And that's what we're gonna look at now. We're gonna figure out what the differences are and see if that's right for you. Okay, first of all, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a client from scratch. I'm gonna go, and my first is QB self-employed. So for this client, I'm gonna choose the self-employed option at the very bottom. Okay, when I open up QuickBooks self-employed, different. <clears throat> First thing you notice, it's going to look very different to when we look at the main QuickBooks app. It still gives you a nice dashboard at the beginning, so it's going to tell you all the information you need to know of how your business is doing. It's going to prompt you to get the mobile app. And in fairness, the mobile app is where majority of the users of QuickBooks Self-Employed are using the software. And it's split really nice and simply in the left-hand corner. So in the left-hand corner, we've got transactions. This is where we can add our bank account. So we can add a number of different bank accounts and then that's going to make sure the information flows straight in. If I choose a simple bank account like NatWest, the way it makes the connections really straightforward, it basically takes you to the NatWest screen and asks you to put that information in. Really straightforward. Once it's done though, it's then connected and that information is going to flow directly into QuickBooks. The next thing is it's got a mileage tracker. So that means you use your mobile phone to automatically track your mileage from to and from a particular area. And you don't have to physically tell it to record it. It's going to use GPS to look at those information for you. And then you're going to have a chance to go through, scroll through that information, and then you can dictate what's business and what's personal. One of the key main differences, though, is the ability to have your tax return filed directly in. Now, QuickBooks Self-Employed gives you the opportunity to file your personal tax return through QuickBooks, whereas QuickBooks Online, the full version, gives you the opportunity to file your VAT return. So each has the ability to file a return, it just depends on which taxes is most important to you. It makes it really simple to file a personal tax return in here though, gives you the opportunity to go up and you can put some tax profile questions in. So maybe about what other income you may have, what your personal allowance might be, if there's any adjustments, and it keeps it really, really straightforward. 
Also, the rest of the information that's going to come through is directly from QuickBooks itself. So as you generate invoices, as you put information in, they're all going to come through here. You have the chance to run reports, so you can have a look at how your business is doing. There's not many reports on here, but there are enough reports for you to be able to really get to grips with what's going on. And finally, it gives you the opportunity to run invoices. So get paid really fast by actually creating the invoice while you're on the go. Perfect if you're doing things on the mobile phone. So QuickBooks Self-Employed, a really streamlined and simplified version. Now the idea of self-employed is to make it as simple as possible. It doesn't worry about things like tier counts and trial balances or anything complicated like that. It's all about transactions. So your whole role as a user of QuickBooks Self-Employed is just plow it through with as many transactions as you can. Add bank accounts, add PayPal accounts, add all the different types of accounts your business interacts with. And then for anything else, you're going to use that transactions button and you're going to use the enter first transaction manually. And you'll have the option up here to add a transaction. So that's where you're going to go in and add them. Once you have added transactions and all transactions are going, I'm going to ask you simple questions. Is it personal? Is it business? And what category it relates to? So it should make it really straightforward for the person who's new to business and it's their first time using it. It could be really straightforward. But if you have any complex, if your business is complex in any way, you might want to consider moving over to the other one. So let's have a look at the other one. So this time we're going to add a client and we're going to call it. And keep you online. We have three different versions, simple start, essentials and plus. So effectively, they're all the same version of QuickBooks. It's just that you're being limited to what functionality you have, depending on which version of QuickBooks you go for. The nice thing about that is you can jump between those versions. So if you start off on Simple Start and then you realize you need functionality from Essentials or Plus, your subscription can be upgraded instantly. And that makes it really easy to make that choice. So all you've got to do is basically choose between QuickBooks Self-Employed versus QuickBooks Online and then when you're in QuickBooks Online, you then have the flexibility to add on the extra functionality if you need to. Let's have a look at what that functionality is. So for this one, I'm going to start first of all with Simple Start. I'm going to press Select and I'm going to press Save. Now with QuickBooks Online, with it being a little bit more complicated, when you first join QuickBooks Online, it's going to ask you some questions. So what type of business do you have? So this is the type of business. Is it a limited company? Is it a sole trader? How long have you been in business for? What would you describe your business does? And after that, it's going to ask you what type of business transactions you're going to deal with. You then get asked a quick tour, and then you're at the main page. Now, this main page here, again, looks quite similar to how QuickBooks Self-Employed looks like, but you do get more functionality here. It's trying to give you that little bit more data to play with, so it's trying to tell you more about your business and how your business is doing. And on the left-hand panel, we have far more. Even though we're in simple start, we're on the lowest subscription model there is, and we're on the lowest version of QuickBooks there is, in terms of QuickBooks Online, we still get a lot more options on the left-hand side. And to jump back to our dashboard. So dashboard's what we can see here. Then we have transactions. And under transactions, you've got banking, you've got rules, you've got receipts. Receipts is where you're going to deal with those photos that you've taken. Banking is where you're going to add your banking directly to QuickBooks. But then they give you a whole section dedicated to expenses. So in here, you can have a look and see how your expenses are doing. And then you have an option to look at sales as well. Sales, it gives you the same idea as you have before. But one of the things that it promotes a lot more here is the ability to add apps. Now, apps is exclusive to QuickBooks Online. And it gives you the ability to add different functionality from third parties. So if you've got Shopify, if you've got eBay, if you've got an EPOS solution, whatever the solution you're using outside of QuickBooks, there's a possibility that that can be added directly into QuickBooks and integrated perfectly. The idea and benefit of integration is all about, again, keeping that data flowing through to QuickBooks. It's about making it easier on yourself. Imagine a world where you've, you've connected your bank account, you've connected your Shopify, you've connected your eBay, all your different types of income streams and expenditure places and everything else are all covered then automatically. So every time you make a transaction in the real world, it automatically goes into QuickBooks. That's the power of the App Store, and that's the power of having apps integrate beautifully with QuickBooks. You then also have an option for cash flow, and it's getting more and more poor, important for cash flow to be beneficial. So the idea of cash flow is it's going to let you know exactly how your business is doing. It's going to start predicting as well the next 90 days. 
how it feels that your cash position is going to be. That's really powerful, especially in times like this where we've got uncertainty all over the place. Having the ability to be able to predict how your cash is going to happen in the next 90 days is really powerful to a business and helps them make the right decisions going forward. You also have a whole payroll solution. So if you are looking to put payroll into QuickBooks, the payroll element is here as well. So if you're looking to employ anyone or employ yourself, if you're a limited company, then that gives you that flexibility, that gives you the opportunity to record it directly in a product where one of the benefits of using payroll in QuickBooks is it's really user-friendly. It holds your hand, it lets you know exactly if you're doing it correctly. There's an opportunity to look at far more reports. Now we're only in simple start here, so some of the reports have been taken away from us, but then there's the opportunity to look at VAT returns as well, and CIS if you're CIS compatible. It'll also let you do CIS returns as well if you've got CIS issues. There's a mileage tracker, just like we had in self-employed, and then there's an accountant section where you can actually share documents with an accountant if you have got an accountant. And there's also an accounting section where you can actually um, look at your chart of accounts. Now that's simple start. There's still loads of functionality in here, but as we add, add up and we jump into a more advanced version, so I'm just gonna jump into, so this is the plus version of QuickBooks. On here, you'll notice there is a lot more kind of going on, but this is because it's a much bigger organization or at least sample data. So on the left hand side, we still have your cash flow transactions and everything else that we're used to. Here's an example of how that cash flow looks like. But now we have extra things like projects. What projects gives you the chance to do is you can actually put into QuickBooks on a project by project basis and you can see how that project is doing. So if you're building a house for a client or you've got something quite big that you're doing for a client, you can record all the expenditure and all the income related to it and see how profitable that project has been for you. You also have the option to really go into granular detail with things like multi-currency. So you can have multi-currency and you can deal with multi-currency really easy in QuickBooks. You can start looking at classes and locations. And if we jump into the reporting section, there's now a whole lot more reports here for you to utilize, which really does gives you an opportunity to deep dive into seeing how your business is. So overall, there's loads of differences between all the different versions of QuickBooks. Now, my recommendation to you is to have a look at this chart, see what works for you and figure out exactly what your business needs. Your biggest decision to make though is do you go with QuickBooks Self-Employed or QuickBooks Online? Both of them have that mobile app, so you're not gonna lose out on either of that. The biggest fundamental difference between the two is QuickBooks Self-Employed lets you file a personal tax return, whereas QuickBooks Online lets you file a VAT return. And if you need to do either of those two, you're kind of going to have to go into each one. Now, if you do use QuickBooks Online and you're looking to file a tax return, over at Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat, there's a video that I'll link here about how to move that information from QuickBooks Online to a tax return. So you're not going to limit yourself if you went for QuickBooks Online. But if you have any VAT whatsoever, you must, must, must go over to QuickBooks Online. With that being said, it's all then down to how big that business is. A substantial amount of transactions then I would recommend you move over to QuickBooks Online for two reasons. First one is automation. So you can then start automating it with rules and everything much more efficiently in QuickBooks Online. So you can make sure that you're dealing with those massive amount of transactions really efficiently. Then you can think about maybe adding an app store on there and looking through the app store, maybe finding a way to connect whatever service that's generating those transactions directly in QuickBooks and just let it be fed directly into QuickBooks. Also with transactions, you find that there's far less of a worry with your how your data is being looked after in QuickBooks Online. If you start throwing lots and lots and lots of data at QuickBooks Self-Employed, that's when you tend to find a few issues here and there. It's not designed to have masses amount of data being thrown at it. What it's designed for is keeping it really simple and straightforward. So you record your transactions, you record your income, you do a tax return, and that's what it's designed for. QuickBooks Online, though, is designed to have lots of data thrown at it, lots of complications thrown at it. So again, think about how complex your requirements are. How many transactions do you have? If you have, say, more than 100 transactions a month, I really would consider moving over to QuickBooks Online. Finally, if you're completely confused about this, you don't know which one, do reach out to us at Boffix. We're specialists in this area. We know what your business needs, and we can make sure you've got the right QuickBooks for your business. Furthermore, if you want to get a good deal on QuickBooks, again, talk to us. 
We're always running special offers. We always make sure that you get the right offer for the right version of QuickBooks for you as a business owner. And if this is too daunting for you, then why not let us look after your bookkeeping for you? We do full-blown bookkeeping, full-blown accounts, full-blown payroll, you name it. We've got it covered. Our motto is that small businesses shouldn't just survive, they should thrive. My name has been Aaron Patrick. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you. If you have any more questions, don't forget the question box below. In fact, let us know which version of QuickBooks are you using and why. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more content just like this. In our next video, we're going to be looking at some really complex areas and we're going to make sure that we make it simple for you so you can understand them. Boffix Tap Tips, the place for you to get all your information you need about your small business. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him nah, 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 nah My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah